here I am at Bell Rock in Sedona, checking out the vortexes, otherwise known as vortices. This is Alice. A pretty windy afternoon here, as you can tell. Let's see. There are all these mesas out here. And coming up right here, this is Bell Rock, as you can see. And we'll see what happens. So this is a gnarled, I guess it's a juniper tree. That's, uh, see how it swirls? It's characteristic of areas where there are vortexes, I hear. And I'm going to pan out and show you more. First, uh, there's the little dwarf tree. And then there's this ledge in this area here. There's Bell Rock. And here's a, an area with little cairns on it, little piles of stone. And people are apparently putting these little piles of stone around uh, where they feel the vortex energy. See, there's one and another one at the top. There are more around here, too. And then there's a view from this ledge way out over the horizon here. Beautiful view, huh? Absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to sit on the ledge for a while and, and see what happens. I'll let you know. So... <laughs> Howdy! I'm sitting here on the ledge and there are rescue workers coming down. And I guess somebody needed rescuing here. And so the energy that I'm feeling is coming from the crown down towards my feet. It's it's downward energy known as female energy. <laughs> so that's what I'm feeling. And there goes the rescue helicopter up above. <laughs> I don't know. exciting <laughs> and and it looks like it's gonna start raining any minute there's thunder and lightning and uh, a little blue sky and a, a lot of scuddy clouds out there <laughs> so it's it's very dramatic here in the wilderness right now they're good the rescue workers at the very bottom of their heads are going down the hill it's very exciting so to be continued perhaps we'll see well and wow this is right chilling I don't know if you can see it too well. It's Bell Rock, and there's quite a contrast with the sky and the sun. And I'm walking along this path, which is looking extremely interesting here. I don't know. This side of the rock is just a lot more interesting. Let's see, maybe you can get it here. Maybe I could get it by zooming. Yeah, there you go. Whirls of rock. And lots of times, or a few times, the junipers are also whirled. The energy around Bell Rock is so strong that from a mile or so away it starts hitting the crown of my head. It's just really strong energy. But now that I'm here, and a little concerned about an oncoming storm, the energy doesn't feel quite so strong. So, onward and upward, we'll see, downward, I mean, we'll see what happens. So, here we have a spot that's a space between another mesa and Bell Rock right here. And it's on the path. There's Bell Rock. Here's the path. And this spot right here, nobody ever talks about, but it has both energies, male and female. So at Bell Rock, there are various kinds of energy. One is the ground up energy. It comes from that you can feel it, I, at least I can feel it coming up from the ground through my body. And they call that masculine energy. Then there's another kind of energy. It comes from the sky down through the body. And they call that feminine energy. And these two energies, sometimes there are areas that where it's mixed, it comes up and it also comes down and 
and that energy it meets in in the heart in the human heart and and if you're lucky <laughs> if you sit with that energy and you're lucky it transforms the whole the whole reality of a person that love energy it joins sky and earth. So, I hope you get a chance to sit at Bell Rock. Some, this is not Bell Rock, but I, I felt I hadn't completely explained. So, I hope you get a chance to go to a sacred spot and experience the wonderful energy of earth and sky. Later. <laughs>